Today on Hoopty Doodle, we electrolysize some stuff. Specifically, we're gonna electrolysis this and remove all the rust off of it and from inside it, which is exciting. And to do it, we have an electrolysis bath we've created. The concept here is surprisingly simple. I've got a plastic tub, it's gotta be plastic. Inside the tub, I've got some pieces of steel. One here, and one here. And they specifically have to be steel. These happen to be one lawnmower blade that I cut in half and then ground off all the paint and everything on it so that it would be just the bare metal. I attach it with copper wire here and it goes through to the outside of the bin. And then attaches to another copper wire that runs all the way around to the other piece of metal over here. And then we have a piece of wood that we lay over the top here, and this is just to hang stuff from. I'm gonna take the stuff that we want to get the rust off of and stick that in the bin. And to it, we tie off some steel wire. So this is the setup. I've got my piece of metal that I want to de-rust down in the bin. And then on that piece of metal, I've got tied off that wire, the steel wire, that runs up to the top here. <laughs> then from there, I've got washing soda, which is specifically sodium carbonate. Not bicarbonate, carbonate. Sodium carbonate, one carbonate. And so we use this in a ratio of And then we fill up the tub with that solution until it completely covers the thing we want to de-rust and comes in contact with our anodes here, our pieces of steel, or in our case, lawnmower blades. And then to finish the magic trick, we connect the battery charger. You attach your negative connection to the wire up here, to your part, and then you attach your positive connection right here. And then you plug your car battery charger in and let it sit for about two hours. If you're thinking about doing this, there are some serious safety concerns to consider. First, you're basically splitting water molecules here, so you're producing hydrogen gas, pure hydrogen gas that's explosive and dangerous. So you definitely should be doing this in a well-ventilated place. We're doing it outside. Here in the garage, we have a furnace and a furnace has a pilot light and it could blow the whole garage up. Second, you are playing with water and electricity, so make sure you unplug the battery charger before doing anything with the water. And here it is, the one on top is straight out of the bath after about three hours, and the one on the bottom is about to go into the bath. It does seem to have taken the rust off of it, but it is discolored quite a bit. I don't know if that will come off or not. But either way, it should be fairly rust free at this point. So here's our part after the electrolysis bath. And so then when you're done, the other interesting part is that this piece of metal, this is your sacrificial piece of metal, your anode, all the rust collects from your item onto this piece of metal here instead. You're basically transferring the rust over from your rusted part to this sacrificial part. And if you want to reuse this part again and do more electrolysis, you can take this metal piece off, wire brush the rust off of it, and then put it back in here again and redo another bath with it. Yeah.